Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made a big old trip around the world collecting a buttload of star pieces and interacting with a big old mafia boss in a grass skirt and stopping his daughter from getting married but then they went ahead and got married anyway. We got a blimp ticket to Glitzville so it all worked out in the end, for us at least. In this episode, we are going to go to the glorious Sky Island of Glitzville and hopefully it'll be a lot more enjoyable than the Sky Island in One Piece. Uh, for everyone who's always like, oh, Midnight talks too much about One Piece, but he can't say anything bad about it. Sky Stinkin' Island. Not fun. Uh, uh, we got this train over here. I believe there is a... There you go, another star piece. <clears throat> oh, God, I don't know what that was all about. It was like I had a bubble inside of my throat and like it made me get a little high-pitched. I was like, oh, got a star piece, guys. Ooh. Not sure what that was about, but whatever. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Get on in here, get another star piece, as if we didn't have enough of them already. And let's go on into the magical blimp that will take us to chapter three. more I like it we got ourselves a pun uh, chapter title now so just being like chapter one castle chapter two woods Now, chapter three. A lot of people say that this is their favorite chapter. I hear a lot of singing people say that chapter three is their absolute favorite chapter in the entire game. I gotta disagree. It's not my favorite chapter. I don't hate it, but it would definitely not be called my favorite chapter. There are things I really like about it, but things that I really don't like, which we'll be getting into as we progress. My, my, my! Glitzville! I've heard that the Glitz Pits is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peaked. Pretty small area, though. This is the entire island, just this one plaza. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. Hmm? Well, first we gotta go ahead and walk around and get ourselves some secrets. There is a star piece right here. Yeah, this is the entire island. It's just this one little stadium and then the building inside. That's all you have to explore. So, why do people like this chapter so much? Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. Uh, if you go over here to this phone booth, there is a star piece behind it. And if we go inside of it, the weather in Glitzville today will be sunny with a chance of more sun. It's above the clouds, stupid. Pfft, <laughs> jeez. Hello, 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 hello! It's me? Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Croop, the mayor of Pelleberg. How's Coops? The local time is now... Snack time? Oh god, I wish I had food right now. Hi, am I the 987,034th caller? Did I win the free tickets? The weather in Glitzville today is... Uh, yeah, you just got like a bunch of funny things. Hi there, Murphy. Is there anything else? Come on, there's gonna be one more, is there? Huh? Who are you? Prank calls are uncool. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Uh, hi, Mario. This is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will ya? I think there's one more. Hey Mario, it's Punio. Hey, brother Luigi here. How are you holding up? Yeah, I think that's it. So, there's a lot of funny phone calls you can get with the payphone, and it doesn't actually cost any money, which is nice. Uh, going here to the souvenir shop, we got ourselves some new items. The Earthquake, which does a damage to all ground-bound enemies, so it's kind of like the Quake Hammer, but in the form of an item. Uh, the Repel Cape, which is sort of like a Bushi, except it only gives you a chance of enemies missing you. It's not a guarantee like the Bushi would be. 
The point swap, which swaps your partner's HP and FP. Interesting. Cannot exceed maximum, so use that to your advantage if you think you can. And then the regular super stream, which is interesting, I guess. Come on out of here, and there's a hot dog stand. I love this guy. Uh, hello there, young customer. The, uh, the aroma of yum in the air is the specta specialty of Glitzville. Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coins for one. Will you buy one? Bye. Your inventory is full. God darn it. And yeah, it's a pig selling hot dogs. Uh, make that make of that what you will. Just gonna go ahead and eat the mistake. And get ourselves a luxurious special edition wiener. Thank you, valued customer. Wait, we don't even get like a thing popping up be like, you got a hot dog. It is Mr. Hoggle's meaty work of art. Refills 5 HP and 5 FP. Very, very nice. Uh, you got a cardboard cutout thing where you could pose inside of the wiener because why the heck not, I guess. There's funny little comical things, a lot of hilarious things right off the bat. We haven't even gone into the singing building yet. Uh, we got this family here of very important looking bob -oms. I like this guy with the hat. So, this is Glitzville. Hmm, not a bad place if I'm a little, uh, little on the tall, dry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell, shell out to build a vacation home here. And this guy. Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a wiener right now! Gee, Billy, how come your mullets you have two wieners? I'm sorry, I just love that singing meme. Oh, uh, what do we got? Glitzville hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. <laughs> I like how he has this evil little cloud right there. A lot of cool little characters and stuff. Uh, yes, I like that the cheap cheap is just wearing a tie. And he, it's weird, he works in the sky and yet he's a fish. It's kind of awkward. Uh, behind here is, guess what? Another inn coupon. I don't know why they give you so many. It's not like it costs a lot of money to stay at the inn. I don't even think this place has an inn that you could stay at. But it does have an invisible coin block that lets you jump up here and get it yourself a shine sprite. Very, very nice. Uh, do not have anything back here. I believe there's a star piece hidden around here somewhere. Uh, we go back this way. There is nothing over here. It's probably on the other side. We'll go into... Oh, wait, no, it's right here. And get that. And yes, I know those rocks look very suggestive. I'm not going to say any more than that. But I'll just point it out because anyone else is going to do that in the comments. So I might as well join in on the fun. Uh, if we could do something over here, yes we can. We jump up here to this uh, big button. We can't actually stomp on it, but we can ground pound on it. And it creates stairs. Very cool looking stairs indeed. Just flops all around and we're good. Jump up here and get ourselves an item. Power plus partner badge. Boost the partner's attack by one. Very, very good. I believe there's a, there's not a hidden star panel here. Is it down here? Oh, there is a star piece hidden under this thing, but we cannot get it yet, so we'll just remember it for later. And now we're gonna use the paper airplane. Just so many things we need to go over before we even head into the main event. Uh, is there anything over here for us? There is not, we just can stand on top of the hot dog stand. How wonderful. Okay, I guess we've got nothing else to do, but head on inside, see what this place is all about. Okay, we got ourselves main, main, the, the main lobby and a pineapple interviewer, okay? Yo, yahoo, yahoo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories for nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. Jeez, what a jerk. Move it one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Jeez, so much for people caring about Super Mario. Hey, it's Miss Mouse. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. She doesn't really have anything else to say. It's interesting that she's just hanging out here this time. Oh, uh, we got this famous star over here. Her name is Toodles. Well, hello there, you big, burly hunk of a man, you. You're a smashing deer. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rockhawk. Toodaloo. Okay, if that's what you're into. Uh, who's this Rockhawk, anyway? Who's What has he got that I don't got? Has he got awesome mustache and a red hat and a bunch of cool party members? I don't think so. Okay, let's see if we can find this dude, see what he's all about. Oh, dear me, what a positively glorious venue. Oh, mercy, Mario. 
Look there! Those brutes are about to have it at each other! That's right! Ooh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Ooh! Wow, he's so cool he jumped on a spiked enemy! Stay down, pincushion! You don't want more of this! Why do you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking! Wimpy, stay out of the rain or feel the burn, baby! Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Hooey, champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who could challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make even me even sweat. They all, they're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. <laughs> yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my word! Mario, on that uncarved bird's bell, is that a crystal star? Yes, I do believe it is! That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star! But such a tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here, of all places? Oh, whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What should we do, Mario? Steal that thing now. Nah, we're gonna battle our way to the top, because we're honest. Oh, you darling man. I'm so happy to hear you say that. I'd expect nothing less. You're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be the champion in no time. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters. I imagine. Oh, my heart is positively thumping. Let's find whoever is in charge this minute. So we gotta make our way to the top of the ranks and become a fighting champion if we want to get the Crystal Star fair and square. And of course, since we're good old Mario, that's the only way we know how to do it. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Blob. I'm not exactly sure what he is. I guess he's like a he's sort of like a wacka, but like he's got a big old suit and stuff. And I guess that's what they look like out of the ground. It's kind of creepy when you think about it. It's like Diglett out of the ground. I believe this is his room. Uh, what's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? All right, go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Head in here. And talk to the boss man. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. Uh huh. What now? An athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Ooh, yeah, that dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and comer. Yep, this place is packed to the grills, the gills with the unfighters, all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Don Skippy! Alright, alright, son, I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I can give a pokey's patoot for a fancy big city ways. But I just jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity darn dynamite. Now I can't mix it up with the rain no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You're reading me here, son. Oh, me? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on, now. And he just flopped through Flurry's stage presence. The nerve of him. So, 
I just realized I should give him the Doc Lewis voice now that I'm, I've burned the fighting area, so maybe he should have Doc Lewis's voice. But, I don't know, I kind of like the rough and gruff uh, voice and given. I don't know. We'll, my, we'll see if I can switch it up a bit. Uh, now you got this part. Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become shot. You become champ, son. And you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's a... That's an, uh, uh, I can't speak. All right, we'll go back to the regular voice. I'll take it as a sign. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Transition. Now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe an old-fashioned... Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. And back into the office. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no but one world champion. Call on your way to the top and taking the belt to become a champion ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there were no challenge? I can see you got the fire for it too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. Eye of the tiger, it's the fit of the fight. You're gonna be the champ, I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter before. And now I'm gonna pull out this paper and have you sign it. So you can be stuck here forever. I mean, you just gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. If ain't no thing, just take a second or two, your name just so right on the dotted line. Sign me up, uh, you sign the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario, ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, pard, it lacks a little punch as the fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey, I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Ooh, ain't that a beaut. Darn, if that ain't a stroke of genius, a name so good comes round once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will, blow, will bow before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Oh, uh, okay. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way, Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon, Jolene. This is great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room already. What horrible time with your joke, sir. But right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. And everyone's flopping through Flurry's stage presence today, it seems. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Ugh, oh, jeez, this is a crummy locker room. I feel sorry for the poor saps that have to stay in here. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. God darn it! You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you're just now uh, starting your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I'd suggest you work your way up through the ranks. How convenient that they ever so conveniently left this room out when doing the when giving us the tour. When you're ready to fight, you just log in onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick reserve a match. Guess we'll do what she says. Welcome to the automated mach match reservation system. What is your command? View the rankings? You need to know this. Why can't I know this? Yes, because I'm in last place, so there's no point in checking. Fine. Reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready for your. For, get your fists dirty then, huh? Then here you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we wanna get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you won't. You just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. 
when Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow him. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you get your rank up to the 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Not exactly, but I'll pretend I did. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. So, I've thought about this for a while, and I think I'm actually going to do something a bit interesting. Instead of just sticking with Flurry for this, I'm going to switch party members every time you go into a different match. Because this chapter is very battle-heavy, and that's basically what you're just going to be doing. You're going to do battle over battle, 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 battle. Gonzalez, match time! Follow me, bub! I love how they use the word bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. But yeah, I thought it'd be interesting if we just switched the party members up every time instead of just using the ones that would be best for the fight. I thought it'd be interesting if I was just stuck on the roulette and had to work with what I got. So we're going to start with Goombella, and we're going to switch the Coops, then Flurry, then back to Goombella over and over again. Hopefully that'll make things a bit more interesting for you, because I didn't want to have all the matches just be Flurry. Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Grey Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all he all het up for the fight. What? Let's check in. How do, Goomba Bros? How are you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Huh, are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot that's who waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now. Just save time later. Stinking <laughs> Goombas talking smack talk like that. And then we come in and we're like, oh god, it's Mario! I'm digging a darn fight, fans! There's the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Hooey! Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk! Fro struck first, how dare he! And I super guard him. Yeah, that's what you get for cheating. Appeal to the crowd at least once. They... those total cowards! Those chickens attacked us before the bell rang! Oh, that's it! Come on! We aren't losing to punks like them! Let's waste them! Oh, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's your, where's our thank you? And it totally backfired because we were able to super guard against it. So this is what the chapter is all about. You just have to battle and battle and battle and battle. Some people like it because you don't have to walk around all that much, but I kind of don't like that. I don't like that you're stuck in battles for so long. I like exploring all the different areas and meeting new characters and stuff. So I'm not a big fan of this, but I do like that they have you switch it up a little bit. So what we gotta do is appeal to the crowd at least once. If we don't do what Grubba told us to do, then our rank will not go up even if we win the fight. So what we need to do is uh, do what he says and then win the battle and we'll be good to go. And I always love appealing in the first round with Gumbella and then having Mario just use the multi-bounce and completely wiping the floor with all of them in one fell swoop. Move over, Goombas, there's a new champ in town. With one star point, great. <laughs> the Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was this first vic taste of victory like? The battle was savage. It was okay, I guess. That fight, what a joke. It was savage. Sure, we'll say that. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping! This kid's got skill! We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Grey Gonzalez! Yay, hooray! Not sure where the confetti's coming from, but yay! Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more pat razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other. Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene, here. I'll give you your fight money. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. We get one, three coins. That was just going to be one coin. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the, on the terminal screen. 
Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. And she's out of here. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? Who's this cool cat? I'm King K, man, just a Bush League scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I could hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the game, huh? This guy here's Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Mr. Lean was saying, you better, Bomb, obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher-ranked foes, Bomb. If you can't clear them, you Bomb end up battling a lower-ranked fighter, Bomb. You can't climb the bomb ranks fighting the bomb of the bomb bomb barrel bomb bomb. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, bomb. Advice is always useful, bomb bomb. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like you cush not like the cushy bed in the champs room though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Crack, Kleftor no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Kleftor. Dude ain't got the friendliest dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something? Just ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. I really like King K. He's one of my more favorite characters. I um would have preferred actually if we got him as a party member instead of Coops. Uh I do like Coops' character, how he's like a guy who doesn't like himself, he's overcoming his fears and all that stuff, but I really like the character type of a super cool and tough character that hangs out with just not uh people of his uh, same group or type or whatever just that he's so he seems so cool and tough and everything like that but he would be willing to hang out with someone like mario who's just like um i don't, don't want to say nerdy because like, like i said before mario's not nerdy he's cool but it's just uh, an interesting character to match up with him and like the fact that he would uh look highly of mario and uh would uh, speak so highly of him seeing his praises i don't know it's just a cool matchup it's like uh, one of my favorite characters in uh, anime is Tristan from Yu-Gi-Oh, not just because of the memes and stuff, but I truly do like that. He's just such a tough character, and he hangs out with all these uh, kids who are obsessed with card games, and like in a world that's obsessed with card games, he's just like, I don't stinking care about card games, I'll just beat the heck out of people who are trying to take over the world. It's really stinking funny, and I just like the matching of those characters. It's really cool, but whatever. Not beating people up. Beating up people is not cool. Don't uh, bully kids. It's not cool. Uh, no closer. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what do you guys say? Anything interesting? Uh, do you believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon? Uh, we could examine these lockers, and if you jump into them, it closes- Oh god, we're trapped in here forever! No. Go in here, there's nothing. In here, there's nothing. And in here... There's nothing. I thought there was something in somewhere, but apparently not. Uh, this block, we can't do anything about it quite yet, it's just staring us down. But yeah, this is what this chapter is all about. It's just battling after battling after battling. Fighting enemies over and over in the rain, and occasionally you'll have little interlude moments where you talk to the characters or there's something else going on. But for the most part, you're staying put. So if you didn't like the backtracking, then you might enjoy this. But I do like the wide open areas, and I don't like uh, having such battle heavy uh, chapters. And this chapter is very much battle heavy. And it's not even worth your time, because as you saw, we we're fighting our way all the way up from the minor leagues to the major leagues. So we're fighting a bunch of enemies that will give us one star point and three coin rewards. It's not all that great, so there are some good things of this chapter, and I think this is when the story aspects of this game really start to pick up, so I'm looking forward to showing it all to you. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to continue on our way through the minor league in hopes of reaching the top. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.